Hi, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner, and today a friend of mine is here mining diamonds, and he comes here quite a bit. He's found several diamonds, and we're going to sit down and talk to him a little bit and uh, kind of get some, maybe some information, some things to do, what not to do, uh, just tips and tricks from somebody that uh, knows the ropes a little better than me. <laughs> Okay, so we ran into Troy out here. He's one of the guys that comes out and uh, mines diamonds quite a bit and a uh, good source of information. So, Troy, what would you recommend for people that are going to come out and say, stay for a day or two? If they're just going to surface hunt, what would you, tips and tricks, what would you say? First off, have fun while you're here. Uh, scout the area, look for gravel. Mm -hmm. Once you find that spot, Pretty much gather up all you can and <laughs> wash as much stuff as you can. Right, concentrate on what's already concentrated. Yeah. Uh, look for low lying areas uh, and talk to other people. Right. Find out what they do. Mm -hmm. People that you know, people that have been out here several times normally learn the ropes pretty quick. Yes, they do. There's a lot of regulars out here that has a lot of good information. Uh, the biggest majority of them don't mind if you come up there and talk to them, you know. Yep. Uh, not, not dig through their gravel not for them, but gravel. yeah. Biggest thing, don't touch their centers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <you> <laughs> will. That spoils the day pretty quick, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> All right. They lose friends real quick. Yeah. Uh, but. Gather up information, as much information as you can before you get here. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got some great videos up front, up in the DDC. Uh, most of the people up there will help you and tell you what to look for. Uh, when you get to the field, like I said, look for low-lying areas. Uh, yeah. Come out here. Try not to get into other people's spots, but yeah, most people don't mind if you're digging just a little bit away from them. Right. So. Yeah. Kind of give people their space, people that are already, you know, they, they say you really can't stake a claim on anything out here, but it's really not cool to jump in on somebody, especially if they, they've already found stuff and laid out their buckets like a lot of times I do. You know, I, you know, I'll tell people all day long what they can look for and stuff like that, but normally when I've got my buckets laid out, I've already gone through the trouble of finding it, you know, so, but, uh, um, you, you've got quite a few already found. Like you're over 60 now, right? For no, diamond I'm count? 57. 57. Okay, so um, you keep most of yours, if I remember right. I think you told me you usually you keep all of them. I've kept every one of them. Okay. You, any intentions on selling any or do you Not have any? I have, uh, if I buy them, I usually buy them to resell. Okay. I have some, I have one with me. To have resell. you? All right, mm -hmm. let's get a look at that. Uh, Oh yeah. Let's take that in the sunshine and get a good look at it here. We'll reposition here. Okay, so this is a pretty good look at uh, how big was this one? This is 1.59. So over a carat and a half, almost a carat and six tenths. And this is one that you're actually trying to sell right now, right? Yes, sir. All right. We'll come up with some contact information. That is a beautiful example, and that's registered as a brown diamond mm -hmm. right here. The Crater of Diamonds is where this one was found. Yeah. So that's a great Raymond example. Marshall found it. Okay. Man, that is a good looking specimen. That way, just a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> 